The Vietnam War is in full swing, and back home in the USA, hordes of civilians are protesting the US's involvement in what's seen as a pointless war almost every day. The government pushes back against these protests, stating that it's important to cut off communism wherever possible before it spreads like a plague. For 12 men on patrol deep in the jungles of South Vietnam though, none of this matters. What matters now is their own lives. It's near dusk and the men are cautiously making their way through thick jungle back to their firebase. They're not far now, only two or three miles away but are very wary of running into an enemy ambush. The Viet Cong and their North Vietnamese allies have taken to hitting American patrols on the way back. When the men are exhausted after hours fighting in the jungle and being eaten alive by mosquitoes and other creepy crawlies, suddenly a rifle opens up and then a dozen more. The GIs hit the ground and return fire. A quick heads up reveals that no one's been hit. It's hard to see the enemy, but it's getting dark enough that the muzzle blasts reveal each shooter's position. The men must be careful to kill their target without being killed in return. In the midst of the firefight, one of the American soldiers suddenly notices a large hulking figure which he had assumed was a big bush stand up and immediately flee across the battlefield. The creature is impressive, clearly at least 7 feet tall, and with a body that's pure muscle. Thick matted fur, not fur, it's hair, covers the creature's entire body as it crosses the jungle in huge bounding steps. The American is in shock and briefly forgets all about the ongoing firefight. On the other side of the battlefield, there's an alarmed cry from the Viet Cong fighters and the firing dies off briefly. The enemy soldiers shout a word over and over again and suddenly one of them fires on the creature. Several American soldiers see the creature get struck by enemy fire, roar, but keep on going. The Viet Cong are in a near full panic now and begin to retreat, allowing the Americans to flee the ambush. The next morning, the American GIs relate their encounter to the commanding officer and ask for permission to investigate the ambush site. Working their way back to the battlefield, the men quickly identify the location of the firefight and where the beast was originally seen. As they searched, they made a grisly discovery. An enemy Viet Cong soldier lays dead, a frozen look of horror still on his face. The body has been mutilated, practically ripped apart, and there's not a single bullet wound on it. This encounter is not new to American forces operating out of Vietnam though, and the locals quickly inform the soldiers that what they're encountering is a creature they have known for generations. The Batutut, Uze or Noi Zung, otherwise known as the Jungle People. These creatures have been known by the locals to inhabit the deep jungles of Vietnam and Southeast Asia, exactly the places that have now been turned into battlefields. Initially, American troops quickly make allusions to Bigfoot or Sasquatch of North America. By the time of the Vietnam War, Bigfoot mania was already sweeping the United States. Tracks of a giant biped humanoid had been discovered in Northern California at a construction site a few years ago, and the tales of the elusive Sasquatch had begun to flood the media as witnesses silent for years for fear of ridicule began to come forward with their tales. Experts claim that the creature is a hoax and that no such great ape could possibly still be living in North America without being discovered. And yet, the footprint evidence continues to pour in from all across the nation, and eyewitness accounts along with them. Strangely, the creature seems to not be uniform in size or even appearance across North America, with witnesses in the north and west of the continent describing it as having black or reddish fur, while witnesses in the south of the United States describe it as having light brown to reddish fur. What is intriguing is that the descriptions of the beast, and even the tracks photographed or collected as plaster casts, all seem to fit the general geographic description of the mystery animal. Could all these people be in on one big hoax? These rock apes though, as the GIs begin to call them, couldn't be more different than the Sasquatch of back home. These mystery apes stand about 6 feet tall, a full foot to 2 feet shorter than the North American Bigfoot and their fur is brown and black like a Sasquatch but bare in the knees and the soles of the feet, hands, and the face, more akin to an orangutan or a chimpanzee. Behaviorally, they couldn't be further from the North American Bigfoot. While American Sasquatches are widely said to be gentle, even shy creatures who rarely ever act aggressively, these rock apes are highly aggressive and bold creatures, often charging straight at humans who trespass into their territory. With their powerfully muscled bodies, the result of being caught by one of these creatures is perhaps best evidenced by the sorry condition of the Viet Cong fighter the American soldiers in our opening story discovered. Much like Bigfoot though, the rock apes are said to be active at night or at dusk, which could help to explain why they're so rarely ever seen and why they've avoided scientific detection. Unlike Bigfoot though, rock apes are known to travel in pairs, while Bigfoot is rarely ever spotted in a group. With the jungle full of dangers though, it's perhaps no surprise that rock apes see a need to travel in groups. Sightings of rock apes were surprisingly common throughout fighting in Vietnam by both sides of the conflict. 
One NVA general became obsessed with capturing a specimen alive and even ordered a hunting party be formed, though most of the soldiers and locals were too terrified of the animal to ever approach one willingly. It would be American soldiers who nicknamed the creature the Rock Apes for the way that the animals would hurl back rocks thrown at them, and on several occasions even live grenades. Skeptics claimed that American troops were seeing orangutans and misidentifying them in the thick jungle, except that while orangutans did once inhabit Vietnam, they went extinct there thousands of years ago. Another candidate for the rock ape was the gibbon, which was native to Vietnam and inhabits the area in large numbers. The sheer size disparity between a rock ape standing nearly 6 feet tall and a gibbon which can weigh as much as 20 pounds though makes that highly unlikely. The unsettling conclusion may simply be that at least some rock ape sightings were real and not the result of misidentification. The creatures were at least real enough and spotted often enough that one hill where they were frequently sighted ended up being called Monkey Hill by the Americans. Interestingly, the creatures were never spotted in the jungles near the coastal areas or close to civilization, and instead only in the deepest parts of the Vietnamese jungle. This perhaps explains why the animals were so fearless toward humans. Their extreme isolation in the deepest jungles would have rarely ever brought them into contact with humans, aside from the few villagers living extremely isolated lives. Seeing as prior to the war no sizable human presence had ever entered these jungles for long, it's perhaps not surprising that combatants on both sides might have stumbled across an entirely unknown great ape species. The encounters would continue to pour in throughout the war though, and sometimes with a very large amount of eyewitnesses. One encounter as told by soldiers of the 101st Airborne details an encounter between a troop of rock apes and an entire infantry platoon that was settling into a quick lunch. Apparently the apes were suddenly spotted breaking clear of the jungle and advancing along a trail on the ridge of Nui Mo Tao, a large hill that would end up being the site of the Battle of Phu Lok. The American infantry immediately thought the figures were Viet Cong and opened fire with M16s, machine guns, and even grenade launchers. The figures quickly fled into the jungle. Unlike a normal animal though, these rock apes appeared to rush through the trees, almost as if waiting for a break in the gunfire to charge the American troops, even stepping out briefly to howl and flash huge fanged teeth at them. The creatures also let loose with howls and barks, much like angry dogs, a behavior that's common to many apes and even attributed to the North American Sasquatch. Eventually, the soldiers realized they were not firing at people and ceased their fire, and as the animals retreated they searched the area but found no bodies. Another incredible account relates to the story of a full-blown battle between rock apes and American marines. Taking place on Hill 868 in Quangnam Province, the battle began with a unit of marines deep in the jungle radioing back to their HQ that they'd spotted movement in the jungle near their position. The marines, likely a patrol made up of around 30 men total, were told to hold their position and not give themselves away, simply observe the enemy's movements and radio back. After a few minutes, the marines nervously radioed back stating that they'd been surrounded by what looked like hairy bipedal humanoid creatures. Likely assuming the creatures were nothing more than the gibbon so common in the area, the marines were told to simply toss rocks at them in order to scare them away. Upon throwing rocks though, the creatures became enraged and began tossing rocks back at the men. Suddenly, what sounded like a pitched battle was heard over the radio, complete with men yelling, inhuman screams and the sounds of gunfire. A patrol sent to reinforce the marine unit discovered a battlefield littered with several corpses of rock apes along with many injured marines. This account, however, relies entirely on eyewitness testimony, as no evidence of these rock apes was ever recovered. The veracity of this particular tale is in serious question, though given the nature of the fighting in Vietnam it may come as no surprise that nobody took the time to try and recover a body. Still, such a stunning incident should come with more hard evidence than scattered eyewitness testimony, and for us we're willing to file this story away as a possible tall tale. Hard evidence for the rock ape wouldn't appear until 1974, a year before the end of the Vietnam War. With both sides reporting the existence of the creature, Professor Va Kui of Vietnam National University decided to lead a North Vietnamese expedition into the jungle to search for it. While he never discovered a real rock ape, he did photograph and make plaster prints of extremely curious tracks. The tracks were said by locals to have been formed by the Batutut, a creature that they'd shared stories of for generations. Curiously, the print, much like many Bigfoot prints, shows features that are strikingly similar to apes, while being much larger than that of any known ape. As had been said of many Bigfoot prints thought to be authentic, if these were hoaxed, then they would have been hoaxed by someone with detailed knowledge of ape physiology. Sightings of the rock ape continue to this day, and though no hard evidence has been gathered, perhaps the best evidence for the existence of these creatures is the sheer amount of reported sightings. 
Then there's also the fact that these are creatures believed to be real flesh and blood animals by locals, rather than mythical spirits or animals of legend. Skeptics point to a lack of remains or physical evidence as reason to doubt its existence. And yet these are the same skeptics who were also stunned in the early 1990s by the discovery of the Saula, an animal described as an Asian unicorn. The Saula was spoken of by nativists for generations too, and yet science denied its existence until a body was finally found in 1992. Since then the animal has been officially classified and is considered one of the rarest mammals in the world. Perhaps if a large mammal like the Saula can lurk in the deepest jungles undiscovered for thousands of years, then so too can an equally rare and terrifying beast such as the Vietnamese Yeti, the legendary rock ape. Did you like this video? Do you want to see more? Go click on this video right now for more great content from your friends at the Infographic Show. Or click this video over here. You're going to love them both, so pick one and go watch right now.